Hi sisters, it's Charnel Richardson here. Um, my husband and I serve in a family group up in Lando Lakes. And today I just wanted to share my thoughts on our sister Eve. So I wanted to share about something I feel like she struggled with. It's the same thing we all struggled with. I know Eve is one of those people we all want to talk to in heaven. We all have a lot of questions that need to be answered. And uh, she's going to have a long line of people talking to her. But honestly, I don't think I would have made a different decision if I was in her same situation. Um, if I had the same situation in front of me, I think I would have reacted the same way. Um, I believe she struggled with insecurity, something that plagues us all. Uh, she allowed it to control her and it caused her to make a decision that changed the lives of all of us. And I think on a daily basis, we struggle with those same things. I'm gonna start reading in Genesis 3 and 1 through 7. Now the serpent was of more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat from the tree in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw the fruit was good, when the woman saw the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some of it and ate it. She also gave her husband who was with her and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized they were naked. So they sewed field leaves together and made coverings for themselves. First, Eve was deceived by Satan. That is clear. However, she also wanted to be more. She also felt like there was something missing in her that she needed to eat this apple. She wasn't perfect and she could see that. She didn't see that she was precious to God and she couldn't see that she was the female embodiment, the female image of God. And she didn't see that she was wanted just the way she was. Some of the thoughts that could have been running through Eve's head was, am I missing something? Is God hiding something from me? Do I lack something? Um, I would be perfect if I had fill in the blank, or I'm not enough as I am. And after she ate the apple or the fruit, she did what most of us do. First, she hid from the one who loves her, the person in her, that God put in her life to help her, and then she hid from God. I know for me, sisters, when I'm in sin, my husband sometimes is the last person I wanna speak with because I don't wanna disappoint him. I don't want him to see my weaknesses, even though he knows full well. However, it's hard to be vulnerable when you know that you've done wrong. And second, yes, we pull away from God when we see that we've messed up. We try to hide from him as though he can't see exactly what's going on in our lives. Um, I think some of the things she might have thought was before she goes to God, wait, let me fix it. Or when I get through this trying time, I'll go to God. Instead of presenting herself imperfect in front of God and asking for the help that she needed to get through it. God loves us, of course, in spite of our insecurities and our flaws. Um, let's read in Genesis 4 and 1. And I believe this is how God was able to encourage her. Adam made love to his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. God blessed Eve with a gift. Women is the, are the only creatures that are able to bring forth life. And I truly do believe that God knew if she could bring forth life, she would understand his love. She would understand that even though that child is not perfect, she would love him just as he loves us, even though we are not perfect and even though we sin. God knew that she would see on the other side of in her insecurity is love and on the other side of her sin is grace. God did give her some pains. He gave her the lordship of her husband over her and he also gave her pains in childbearing, but he knew on the other side of that pain would be the love and forgiveness and on the other side of the labor would be grace. Just as, the, just as we sisters are able to bring forth life, 
God wants to bring forth life for us as well. And let us see that, yes, through insecurities and all of our flaws, on the other side of that is grace and forgiveness. Thank you.